Have you been thinking about going into coaching? Well, if you have, I want to talk to you about three must-have components for online marketing for coaches. Now, if you've given any thought to become a coach in 2021, you should. And there's a couple of reasons for it. One, it's a multi-billion dollar industry and growing. And people are more and more willing to hire a coach. And it doesn't matter where. What niche it's in, what where people are looking for coaches, could be weight loss, could be marketing, could be relationships. People are looking for coaches to help them along this journey. And you can be a good coach. And I'm going to share with you these three tips. Because they're just unbelievable tips that will help you along the way to stand out. The three things you need to do is you need to be creating content. Now, if you're first brand new, like when I first got started, what I did, I concentrated on one social media. One, because I didn't have any help. It was just me. I was trying to figure this all out. So I would suggest to do this, concentrate on one or two, maybe social media places to post your content. Now, I get asked this all the time. Do I need to be posting content all the time? Well, you know, if you are have a five, six figure dollar coaching business, then yes, more and more. But if you're just starting out, what I did was I posted a piece of content Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday. Saturday was usually something about me personally, nothing about business. It was just my personal life because I wanted to share what I was doing. But as my business grew, as it became a five figure, six figure dollar business, then guess what? I brought in more social media places. I started putting more posts out. Instead of emailing my list once a week, I started picking up the game to two to three times a week. I just started increasing what I was doing. And that's what you do too. But see, the number one thing is you need to be creating content. And as you grow, you need to be creating more and more content. The second thing is you need to specify video content like this. And I know because I get it all the time. Some people, man, they're afraid of the camera. Well, you really aren't afraid of the camera because the camera is just a little box. You're afraid of what people are going to say. Well, to tell you the truth, who cares? The thing about video content, if you look at it, now, if you're watching this on YouTube, that's the only thing you do. If you're watching it on LinkedIn, LinkedIn videos get more and more views than any other content there is. Same thing with Instagram. What Instagram has done is they've come out with stories, Instagram TV, now they've come out with reels and you should be doing reels. You should maybe be thinking of getting on TikTok. Now I know it's all different. You know, if you're long in life like I am, longer in life like I am, I've never been around this stuff. But what I want to do, and I believe what you want to do is you want to make an impact in the world. Well, to make an impact in the world, you need to be doing things where people are going to see you. And here's what video does. It really develops a no like, and trust. Now, when I got, first got started, I mean, people told me I had to get this, I had to get that, I had to get a special camera, I had to get a special mic, I had to get, well, do you know what I do most of the time? I do this on my smartphone. And that's what I'm doing right now. I don't have a special background. I live in an RV, so this is my RV. You know, I, I don't have a screen behind me. See, people want to just know who I am. They want an imperfect, I think that's the word. They don't want a perfect video. The ones where it just you show who you are, even where you stumble with words, even where you might be looking down to read, guess what? It makes you look like more of a human. I tried to use a teleprompter once. I can't do that. I can't read fast enough. One, my eyes are getting long in the years like I am, and they just don't see as well. 
So I write notes. I have my journal down here. I'm reading my notes. I can see that. And I look down to read. Well, who cares? I want to get my thoughts across. I don't have all this memorized. And I don't want to be memorized because I want to be able to talk to you. It doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. So if you're thinking of doing video, use your phone. Use your laptop. Get in front of natural light. I'm by a window. I do have a, a ring light because the windows are dark in the RV, but it's not a very big ring light and it costs me very little money. Now, so the first thing is you need to start creating content. I've said that. Two, I would really start thinking about doing vi videos. And number three, when you talk to people, you have to tell them how and why you're different from your competitors because it is getting crowded out there. And it doesn't matter what niche you're in. You know, why would somebody want to come to you for weight loss? Why would somebody want to come to you for online marketing? Why would somebody want to come to you for relationship advice? You know, think about what your uniqueness is. Think about the things you bring to the table. See, I'm a former teacher. And I teach people how to do online marketing, how to do better in their coaching business and course creation business, because you know what? That's my skill. I taught for a long time. So my strength is I can look at something. If somebody tells me where they want to go, I can look at that and I go, okay, if you want to get here, I can reverse engineer it and make units or modules. I can put the things in place to get them where they need to go. And because of my teaching, I'm very good at relationship building. I mean, I dealt with inner city kids. It wasn't teaching. I was dealing with kids. They had to know that I liked them. They had to know I was in their back. They had to know that I would do anything to help them out. That's no different than coaching. People just have to know it, that I'm willing to do whatever I can to help them get where they need to go. And that's how it goes. So again, let me go through this. There are three things, right? The first one, you have to really be starting to create more content. And I do have more information on content and more videos to help you along that way. If you're brand new, it's just one social media channel, maybe one post or two posts a day. The second one, I would really think about video. If you want to grow a business, like any kind of a business, you need to be on video because people, that's where they develop to know, like, and trust. And the third one is you need to be able to know how to talk about how and why you're different. And you are different. Right? There's some very good coaches out there. There really are. You can't be afraid to charge a premium price, but you better be able to know why you're different than somebody else. Hey, I, if you got any value from that, one, please share this with your friends. Subscribe or follow. The biggest thing is what I'd like you to do, I'm going to put a link down below. It's marknelsononline.com forward slash call where you can set up a free call with me. It's a 30 minute free call and what we'll do is we'll get on the phone. Uh, we'll probably get on a Zoom call and we'll just chat and see if how I can help you, where you're going, see if I get you going in the right direction. So, you all take care. Remember to subscribe, follow, and do this. Go to marknelsononline.com forward slash call, and let's set up a call. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.